Hey folks, Malforan here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing the Heisting Coastal Challenge. If you're not aware what that is, I set this up yesterday. I kind of laid it down in a video, which I will link at the end of this video and I'll put it in the description down below. It's basically a little challenge as starting as Heisting, basically making a snake coastal uh, realm as large as you can before you die at the basics. Like I say, it's all discussed in the video I'll link below. But uh, we, this is going to be my first attempt. We're going to keep it here within France. Well, hopefully further than France, but uh, we're going to start here. And then in the next couple of days, I'm going to do another one where we're going to have Rengian Adventure up to Livonia or down into Africa or something like that. But today we're going to keep it simple up here. And we're going to see how well we do. As I said in the other video, if you want to give this a try, send me a picture on Twitter. I'm at Malforian. Again, link down below. Uh, let's just see how far someone can get and have a bit of fun doing this whilst we wait for... A bit of content for the game, but uh, yeah, let's just get going. We picked Heistine because he starts with a lot of troops. He's very martial focused, obviously. He's gone down the gallantry, which is amazing. And uh, we're actually going to go chivalry focused to again buff our knights. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, character. Actually, do we have a lot of knights? Oh, we only have four out of 12? I didn't even realize that. Uh, how much are you to recruit? 55? Yeah, I'm going to recruit you. <laughs> I'm going to recruit you. Um, I think there's a decision we can do to get more knights, invite champions. Yeah, I'm going to do this because we have a bunch of prestige, so we'll do this. Have the realm embrace local traditions. Convert yourself and all your Norse vassals to the culture and faith of your capital. Uh, no, I'm guessing our capital is not Norse because obviously we're in France. Yeah, French Catholicism. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. So yeah, what we're going to do, I think in this attempt, we're going to head north. We're going to go to Brittany and then Normandy and then kind of go up this coastline here. And we'll see how well we do. If we don't do very well, we'll just uh, do another one. So uh, anyway, let's get going. We're going to declare war on Brittany immediately, I think. Yeah, I can't imagine they're going to bring anyone in. Now, the the idea of the, the challenge is to just work your way along the coast, uh, taking one, like one county at a time or, two, or, or, or like a duchy at a time. Obviously, it doesn't really work with Brittany because all their counties border the coast. So uh, we're just going to take the entire duchy off him and we're going to see if this works. Oh, we'll raise our army. And uh, we're going to cross here. And hopefully, King Solomon... Like I said, I don't think he has any alliances. He doesn't. We'll have to watch out in case he gets some. Oh, actually, speaking of alliances... We should see who we can get an alliance with. Sjellant? Leon? We don't want that because we want to take Leon. So, I guess Sjellant? They're probably going to have quite a lot of troops, I would think. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. So, Mario, it doesn't really matter... Uh, this challenge, I've done it, you have to do it as uh, the Jarl. Once you die, that's the end of the challenge. So, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter who we marry. We just want to marry someone who gives us a lot of troops, if we can. I guess we will designate an heir, because uh, designate a um, a guardian, because why not? And then uh, we don't need to call those allies in for this war, but we will do it in the future. And then, oh yeah, we already called in some, uh, tried to get some more knights. I don't know where his troops are. I guess he knows he's going to lose. Oh, yeah, he's only got 700 troops. Well, that's way less than I thought he'd have. Oh, no, he made an alliance with France. Uh, well, that could be bad. Um, let's see if we can finish this fight. <laughs> Hopefully we could just siege this down and immediately win, like capture him or something like that. We did not. We got to 43%. Oh, we sieged his house banner. That's pretty funny. I, I do love it when you siege house banners and things like that. It's better when you do it in war, but uh, it's pretty good this way as well. Yeah, so he's going to have way more. Now, what we could do is, we have a lot of money. We could take out some mercenaries. Um, do we want to take a lot? Well, we kind of need to win this. And to be honest, if we weaken France, then we can attack them for Normandy immediately. So, do you know what? On this attempt, we're just going to spend a lot of our money on... Uh, let's get these guys. Armoured footmen... Yeah, Armoured Footmen are really good. Let's take these. The Band of Vendome. Let's take these guys. And we'll come here. Oh no, yeah, here they come now. So I guess they're trying to unify their troops up. Uh, do we want to come here? Yes, let's come here. Oh no, they're coming back. Quick, run away. <laughs> let's run away. I, see, I, we kind of want them to attack us. Ideally... Actually, what's our commander? It's 44. Well, it's us. Um, do we have any, like, commander bonuses? I don't think we do, do we? Let's have a look. 
And we don't, because we don't have like fording. Oh, he has fording, but he's way worse. Like our 44 is worth way more than that bonus. Sure, let's give it a go. Let's just attack him and let's see if we win. He's running away, so he thinks we, we might win. Oh, we are going to win. Okay, well, there you go. 66%. I guess we'll siege this down, because uh, we should basically have this wrapped up. Now, they could obviously come and attack us again. Actually, no, do you know what? Let's attack them again. Oh, he's actually coming to us. No, he isn't. No, no, we caught him out just as he went past. Nice. So, yeah, we'll come back here. We'll siege this down. We've actually destroyed uh, Brittany's army. They, they basically have no army now. And uh, if he comes down here to try and remove the siege... Oh, no, he's going to attack us, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. Is that the king? Okay, well, the king's actually come to attack us, which does seem like uh, not a good idea. And we've won. There we go. So we've taken... Uh... Oh, wait, no. I thought I said accept demands then. Oh, he's already... Oh, no, he's, yeah, he's thinking about it. Oh, because it wasn't 100%. He didn't have to accept them. So there we go. That's our first... Uh... Our first success, our first land that we've grabbed. We can raise a runestone. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. That could be our um, our celebration of this. Rock through the ages uh, subject. Each runestone tells a message of some significant event in the life of the commissioner. From the smallest peasant to a count like myself, the stone records all. What shall the monument speak of? Perhaps a vanquished foe, Solomon. I mean, we did just beat him and take all his land. So yeah, I think we're going to celebrate that. The location. Let's put in Nantes, Rennes, or Vanez. Uh, where was his capital before? It was down here somewhere. It was in Nantes. So yeah, let's put it there because then we, you know, we've taken his capital from him, and we're gonna put down a rune stone and say, "We we we took this land from you. Don't you forget it." So uh, there we go. We're taking this. We're obviously gonna keep all the land for ourselves because we're only a count. I mean, we could make ourselves a duke, I suppose. Oh, we can ransom the. Oh, we captured the king. Oh no, we captured his. Why was she there? Oh, she was probably married to um, the, the, to Solomon, I guess. I guess that's who she's married to? No, no, no. No, she just married some random person, and by chance we took it. Oh, no, no, no. No, that is the house of them. So, no, yeah, she was. She was married to the king's son. Uh, not endorsed by... Do you know what? We didn't even check these, did we? Right, let's make him like us. I don't know why he doesn't like us. Why don't you like us? Because we're unreformed. It is funny that the the priest of an unreformed faith doesn't like you because you, the faith isn't isn't reformed. I kind of find it funny that that's how that works. But anyway, don't suppose it really matters. Um, yeah, we'll do this. We'll leave. Just get some more money. We'll do this. We're going to change to train commanders so we get more. Oh, actually, is that going to be more worthwhile in like a short campaign, or is re our reinforcement rate going to be better? Our reinforcement rate might be better. No, do you know. We'll buff our knights. I think that is going to be ultimately better for us. And then, are you any good? Not really. <laughs> well, she's okay, but not for this. I was hoping she'd have a lot of stewardship, but she doesn't. Anyway, we'll import. We'll appoint a physician, and then yeah. So that's the end of this. We don't have an alliance with uh, a, a truce with France. So I'm thinking we just immediately attack France. Oh, he's already. We yeah, we ran him off that person. Preparations for the hunt. The wildness is calling out to me. It's been too long since I last hunted. Out there in the plains of Montagu, there are plenty of flighty lynxes, one of which would do well in my dinner table tonight. Uh, well, we don't like doing this because we're greedy, so we don't like spending money. The next one will not cost any gold. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I guess we're not investing in it. So, yeah, so we can attack him now. So I think we'll take uh, Normandy, basically. Let's try this. Well, we defeated him in that battle. His only allies are internal allies. So I'm going to think this has got a chance of being successful. Well, his army's already... Re oh, yeah, because they're already retreating. So uh, let's raise our army up here. And we're just going to immediately go here and start sieging down. We could call in our ally. We have a lot of prestige, so we might as well use this prestige again. This is just like a short challenge, so we don't really need to worry about you know, stockpiling prestige for anything else. We can just use it to call in allies every time because we've got to do this before heisting dies. So it's basically how quick can you expand along the coastline, um, you know, in that lifetime. So, uh, yeah, no, he has got 3,000. He's going to try siege down our capital. We could come down here and um, and attack. Because obviously we don't want him to siege down our capital. Wow, they're sieging that down quick. Well, they're raiding us very quickly. 
Oh, he's running off, so he thinks he's going to lose this fight. Oh, he's actually attacking the raiders. Oh, no, 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 no that Skelland came, came to help us. Nice. They actually landed at the exact right time. There we go, it defeated France. And then these are his allies, Meath. So they've come from, uh, come from Ireland to siege us down. Oh, no, they actually did capture um, someone from our thing. I, I think that was the raiders actually captured them. Kind of trying to chase these down. Oh, she actually escaped. Nice. Oh, wait, no, no. No, she got killed. Oh, that's the opposite of escaping. <laughs> well, I guess we'll marry in... Ooh, Silesia? Or Jorvik. Jorvik has a lot, but they, you know, they are often at battle with other people, so it's maybe unlikely they'd be able to actually come help us. Sieland, obviously already allied to us. But obviously that alliance will, will have gone. Now we've... Oh, no, no, no. We married our son. Uh to that one. Yeah, so let's marry into uh, Silesia. It'd take a long time. I'm going to risk with Jorvik. They are obviously always at war, or over a lot of the time at war, but I still think we can, um, you know, make use of them. I kind of want to cap... <laughs> We're just chasing these guys around the map now. Will you please stand still so we can defeat you? I guess not. So I guess we'll come back down here and defeat France again. And then we can get back to uh, trying to siege down their lands. Oh, we got another point in here. So, going on strategy, envelopment, men at arms, counter efficiency. I th supply limit would be good. Uh, let's go envelopment. Buff our, uh, our uh, men at arms. Get here. We're going to play the same game now. Nice. We're going to get a free commander. And he is pretty good. Yep, he should serve me. Oh, come on. I think we might have to go and just siege down land, because otherwise we're basically just chasing people around. Um, okay, we've be we've become ill, so we'll s we won't risk it. Okay, we actually did. We actually got uh, treated quite well then. Yeah, at the moment we're just chasing armies around the map. Oh, nice. Our allies actually kept caught one of them up. Oh, it looks like Sjellen's going to try chase them down, so I guess we'll leave that, uh, leave that going. Oh, we've got a daughter now. So we can marry her off for, again, a another alliance. That hope, oh, these are all really bad. Chiefdoms, chiefdoms. Well, we won't marry her off yet, then. There's no point. How long is this going to take? Six months. How long is this going to take? Six months. Okay, we'll have to come down and stop this from happening. Otherwise, they're obviously going to, uh, you know, siege us down, potentially capture someone and finish the war quicker than we want. Oh, nice. They actually stayed there this time. Interesting. They kind of left their allies to die there. Yep, yeah, too late now. <laughs> you waited too long. Oh, it's the king again. Wow, he loves leading his own armies. Okay. Seems like a bad idea because you're not that good. But I guess he's the best uh, leader they've got. You can challenge someone to a trial by combat because uh, he's a fornicator. Now, do you know what? I'm all right. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we might make this Duchy of Brittany just so we can give away some of our counties um, just to lower the penalty from this. But we obviously need a bunch of gold. So we could go raiding. As I've said, we've got to do this during his lifetime. But we've also got to be kind of, you know, balance out expansion to making money. To do better expansion. Um, it's kind of like a, a bit of a, a tightrope you've got to walk as to what's going to work out best for you. Um, if you give this a try. And as I've said, if you give it a try and you do a good run. Uh, tweet it at me, at Malforian on Twitter. And uh, I'm going to do like a little compilation video of these uh, once we've got a few entries. And uh, we can just talk and see how well people have done and kind of what uh, what strategies they might have used and all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll siege this down. And then we're, we're going to have to come and fight him again. We could split our army in half in theory, but uh, now we'll just attack him and then we'll come up to Bayou and uh, siege that down. Yeah, you, you should have moved. You're definitely going to lose this fight. Yep. Now we'll go up to Bayou. Ransom this guy, 50 gold. Yeah, definitely do that every time. And then, uh, yeah, we, we'll, we'll obviously have the truce with France. So in theory, we won't be able to go to war. We could just break the truce again. We, we don't really care about renown or prestige during this campaign. So we could just break the truce every time. But we'll obviously take Leon, because then we have another uh, coastal county here. And then we'll head down, like either down or up. We'll see which one kind of makes sense at the time. Actually, saying that, once we have finished the war, we'll switch this to... Oh, no, it's already on Foreign Affairs. Cool. So this has a chance to negate truces. 
So that would be helpful for us if uh, that was successful. So yeah, we'll siege this down, and then again, I, I guess we'll have to come down and fight France, because otherwise they will siege down our uh, our capital, which we do not want. And then I think we will go raiding just to build up some extra funds um, for some future uh, shenanigans, basically. Actually, do we have siege equipment? No, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. We have Bondi and we have Vigman. Don't have any. Oh, because we haven't unlocked it, that's why. <laughs> That'll do it, guys. That'll do it. You can't have them if you haven't unlocked them. Yeah, we don't have Onigas. And we're not in charge. Yal Bjorn Ironside of Upland is in charge of our uh, in charge of the Norse culture. And he is focused on uh led no, not ledgers. He's focused on crop rotation. You know, famously uh, famously good at that, the Vikings. And it's going to take 90 years for us to get it. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not going to get uh, any siege equipment anytime soon then. Which is going to be annoying once we get to some other buildings. But I think for the most part, this early in the game, we're obviously in the earliest time frame. I think we'll be generally fine. I don't think many forts are going to be over level 5, to be honest. We're at 66%, so we'll go up to uh, Lizu. Lizu? Lizu, I'm going to call it. I think that's all part of um, uh, Neustria or Normandy, basically, in the future. Actually, we could go to Al Alencon. Uh, well, we'll definitely attack you. We got another one of these. Okay, we're getting these really quick. Oh, we are at 40% extra uh, um, extra points. So we'll do living, living off the land. That's going to give us way more um, uh, supply limit, so we can do wars for longer. Investments in Montego. He, she wants to invest some money in our capital. To increase our control. What is our control at the moment? 92. That's pretty good. Do we want the prestige? What's this give us? Successful. More gold. More development. Let's try this. Yes. Nice. It worked. Sweet. Well, this isn't working. So let's go to the... Uh, we'll just siege down the, the barony. And again, it's going to take a while because we have no siege equipment, which is really bad. But uh, what can you do? I don't know if you can actually... Uh, can you get them from mercenaries? I can't remember. No. No, there's no siege mercenary band. Which is unfortunate. That would be quite useful for us, to be honest. Oh, our wife is pregnant. Oh, hello. Wait, wait. Lotharingia joined the war? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, um, didn't realize that. That's not good news for us. Can we siege this down quick enough? Oh, they're not actually heading towards us, which is weird. Oh, they're going to remove the siege on here instead. Um, can we call in you then? Yeah, let's call you in. We can ransom a bunch of people, actually. Didn't realize that. The Duke, 92 gold, 50 gold, 50 gold. How much is this then? 250? Oh, yeah, we haven't got the money yet from it. So yeah, if we, if we become a duke, we're going to get rid of this uh, negative uh, modifier. So that will help us. We'll have more troops and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, we need to avoid you. So we're going to head this way, and hopefully the French army isn't stood here somewhere. Have we got enough to make that duchy title? Yes. So we're going to create this. Again, this is mainly just to... Um, negate this bonus, uh, well, this, this modifier, because we can give away some of these counties now to somebody. We're just going to give it to someone random, someone just in our court. Uh, this guy. <laughs> You'll do. Oh, no, 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 he's the priest. We, he can't have him. Uh, Claudius. Matthew. Yeah, and he's our spymaster, but obviously he's not very good. But he will like us now if we give away two of these. Yep. There we go. Now we're back under this limit, so we're not taking those modifier penalties. And then we need to re refresh these armies. Oh, nice. 3,000 troops coming here from um, uh, Jorvik. I guess they were no longer at war with anyone else. No, they won against Mercia, so yeah, that's why. Oh, they, they're going to sail round? Don't do that. <laughs> but sure. Oh, another commander. Nice. He's not very really good, but I'm going to take him anyway, because I don't think we've maxed out commanders. And then we'll come in and we'll attack Lotharingia here. And uh, we should win. Oh, another son. Awesome. Right, let's uh, let's get another marriage. These are all going to help us. 
Obviously, the more children you have, the better, because you can get more and more alliances. We're not going to marry into Leon, because we're going to take Leon next. I guess we'll just marry into Sieland. All these aren't really worth getting married into. So, yeah, let's just marry into Sieland, because why not? We already are married into them, but um, we'll just kind of reinforce that uh, alliance. There we go. We, uh, we beat France. Cradle by Cygnus. Oh, well, it might not matter. He, he might be going to die, so... <laughs> It might not be something we have to worry about. Right, let's siege this down. We're at 74%, so to be honest, once we've sieged this down, we might almost win this war. Although, if they head down here, we're going to have to chase them down. Oh, look, all our allies here are sieging. Joe, we're going we're we're gonna to stay here and siege just because, for once, the AI is actually sieging everything down as well. So... Although it looks like we might get attacked by Lotharingia. Nope, they thought better of it. And France thought better of than finishing this off. So, yeah, we might siege all of this. If we do this, the, the war will be finished. Yeah, look at them. They're kind of like walking around us. I've never seen that, actually, from the AI. They're kind of both... I think they're trying to get to each other to unify. But they just can't figure out how to get to us without uh, fighting us. But there we go. We've won this. So we should, in theory. There we go. We've taken... Uh, Normandy or France. This is going pretty well. This is going better than I thought it would, to be honest. I thought we might have a little bit more trouble. Establish the Norman culture? Oh, will that help us? No, 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 no. What? We got a rebellion? Never. Never. Never gonna happen. Um, if we fought... Yeah, I suppose we might as well fought under a war. I think we might as well do this. I guess this would help us. We get all the innovations France has and all the innovations the Norse have. Wait, this is like ludicrously good. Because we'll get Onigas then as well. Yeah, we'll do this. As soon as this war finishes, this rebellion ends. Wait, did I get rid of our armies already? Oh, I did. Um, yeah, as soon as this ends, we'll uh, we'll, we'll form the Norman culture because uh, that's going to help us a lot. Strategic impasse. I'm sitting around the, the map table with the Count Renaud and Count Helene. Discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Uh, we'll do this. We're high in marshals, so we're going to pick this one where we basically get both buffs. So it's a nice little bonus. What have we got here? We can ransom this dude. Take a concubine. Sure. Beatrice, you're our concubine now. Oh, we've got low control. We should probably fix that, I guess. Although, does it really matter? Now, do you know what? If we were playing the game properly, well, you know, a proper campaign, we would fix it. But I guess there's no point. And then we should wrap this up really easily. There we go, we captured the leader straight away. So that's finished. Disband this. We will found this Norman culture. I can't imagine why it would be a bad idea. Rise of the Normans. We are far from the lands that our Norse ancestors called home. But it is these lands of northern France that we think of as our country. As the leader of my people, it is my responsibility to ensure future prosperity. And if we are to flourish, then we must adapt to our new environment. We must learn from the people whose ancestors made use of these fertile grounds. By this decree, we will change our way of life to benefit our kin. We will forge a new path as our own people. So we're going to become the Normans. And like I say, that should help us. Yes, we can get Onigas now. Fantastic. So we're going to be able to siege things down way faster than before. Which is great. Um, do we stay a duke? Yes, we do. Doesn't give us any other additional bonuses. We've got a dangerous faction. The Breton Catholic Populists. Okay. Yeah, he hates us. Can we get him to convert? Let's see if he'll convert. Because if these convert, this will basically end. We'll let that finish. Because we want to see... Uh, it's going to weak hook on us. That's fine. Yep, that, that's fine. Because I don't want that rebellion to happen. He gets a hook on us. He'll just use it to get cheaper taxes or something like that. Which we don't really care about. Um, and then, yeah. So we've got the truce with France. But... Okay, this campaign's going quite well. Actually, France is in another war. Oh, no, no, it's just an internal battle down here. So, yeah, Leon, you are next, my friend. Yep, we're going to take your county. Uh, let's raise our army over here. How many troops did he have? I don't think he had much. No, he has no money either. He has a thousand. So, I guess we'll just raise our local army plus our men-at-arms. Yes, that's more than enough. You're now fascinated by city planning. That's probably not what we want to focus on. I, I don't think it really matters, to be honest, because we, um... Is this our exposure? Yeah, we'll, we'll match this. We'll probably be, uh, be dead before we <laughs> discover the next thing, so... 
it be what it be. So yep, let's uh, destroy their army, and then we'll take Leon. And then our first attempt, like I say, we're not doing too bad here. Organize march, increase our movement speed, and how good our army's screen. Yeah, we wiped their army, so <laughs> we've uh, we've wrapped this war up pretty easily. Oh, hello, Italy. That's uh, that's a bit of a change of location for the capital of Italy up here in uh, in uh, well, is this what county is this? I can't see. <laughs> Let's have a look. Gunez. Terrible pronunciation. But that's definitely what it's how it's pronounced. Yeah, we haven't got much money. We might have to go raiding. Um just to build up some money for our future wars. It's probably gonna be a good idea. Just do a quick raid somewhere, like into Wessex or Yeah, maybe Wessex actually. They have half their army's been destroyed in some battle, so uh, we could come up here, raid the coastline, get a little bit of money. And then uh, figure out what we're going to do next. Part of the challenge, trying to keep things being adjacent. So yeah, we're going to have to attack France again. Now we've got to be careful because they do that have they do have that alliance with Lotharingia, and our um, our uh, mercenaries are going to leave us soon if they've not already. They already left us. Let's have a look. Yes, they have. So. Yeah, it was worth spending. We obviously won two wars basically using those uh, mercenaries. But uh, yeah, we need to wait for our uh, armies to recover now. I mean, we have 5,000 troops still. Actually, no, we don't. This is a lie, I think. No, 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 it's true. The levies are actually 4,000. But sometimes in some of the menus, it counts uh, these being full, but they don't recover. Um, these special soldiers never recover. Once they've died... They never refill. Um, so, yeah, these will never replenish back to being the 3,000, whatever you start with. Oh, call to war. Are we going to say yes? We're obviously not going to help. I'm just going to say, sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We're coming to help. <laughs> but we're not We're not going to do that at all. We deserve the Duchy of Normandy title. We will take this when we can. We need 250 gold. Yeah, that's why we should go raiding as well. Get some more gold. Um, let's do it. Can we raise this raiding? We're, we're at war? Oh yeah, no, we just got called into that war. True. And it might last a while. Although, maybe not. I mean, we could go help in this just to get it finished. We could capture some people, I suppose. Um, yeah, I get Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll, uh, we'll raise up, we'll come up, and we'll just siege down their capital. Hopefully we'll capture someone. And then... Oh, is that where they're going? Oh, it is. Okay, never mind. Oh, another commander. Okay. Getting a lot of these. Um, 15 martial, 8 prowess. I mean, he's not amazing, but I don't think we've capped off our commanders. No, we've not. So we'll always take a commander. Got a dangerous faction. Oh, the Breton populists are back. Wow. We're going to have to deal with them later. Another daughter. Yes, they've sieged this down, which isn't great for getting this ended quickly. But actually, Joe you know, will come down and siege this because we do have our uh, onagers now, so we should. Yeah, three months is half the time it takes us to siege places. So we'll fight this, and then we'll uh, well, well we'll remove the siege here. We'll go to Vorbas, take the siege from there, and then we'll see if he sieges down the capital. This war might finish relatively soon. Yeah, he's going to get this any second. There we go. It's at 50%. Oops, move that too far. Growing strong. So he gained uh, strong as a trait, I guess. Oh, no, he's rowdy. Oh, he lost sickly. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, he was the one that was ill. He's actually got over that. Oh, this is one. Oh, no, this is land he's sieged down. Okay, never mind. What's this war actually for? Is it just for Vorbas? Okay. I guess that's worth doing. <laughs> oh, you're sieging this down? Hey, I'm not interested in being being pals and sieging down the same place. So we'll come over here. Actually, we'll probably come down and attack him. If we can. If we can cut him off somewhere. Can we chase him down? Nice. Oh, no. Yep, no, he changed his mind. He stuck around. We should win this fight. It's kind of annoying. We will lose some troops from doing this. But this war should basically be finished. Um, especially once they siege this down. I would imagine. Right, we'll take this. Hit and run. This, in, this reduces our retreat losses, which is great for us, where we where we need our armies basically all the time, and it's going to increase our damage and uh, all that other stuff. 
Um, like I say, Heistin's just so good with uh, with how how he starts the game. Ninety two percent. Yeah, this war's basically finished. It will be once this battle ends. We're gonna have to go help. Nope, he's gonna win anyway. But we will go help. We'll make sure he does. And there we go. This war's finished. Actually, we'll stay here because we won't have to pay for embarkment. Just disband over here. There we go. And uh, that faction looks like it's gone. So we'll raise our raiders. Raise all raiders. Come down here. What's this? We've got betrothed can marry. Sure. And then we're going to head down here. We're going to unify the... Are these all our raiders? We don't have any more than this. Huh. I kind of thought we had more than this. <laughs> okay. Well, you know it's 2,000. It's not too bad, is it? How many troops do you have? Uh, you don't have as many. Has anyone raided you? No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll head up here. We'll go round. Oh, no, no, you have. You've not been raided, but they have quite a lot of troops. So we don't want to risk losing fights. Al Andalus, are you fighting anyone? No. Sturius, you're not fighting anyone. Obviously, France, we don't want to go fight. We could head down here into the Mediterranean. Yeah, these places are usually pretty good for stealing money from, so... Well, let's head down here. Yeah, he's only got a thousand troops. Yeah, so yeah, we'll do this. The Mediterranean and, like, this area over here, around the Byzantines, uh, always great for raiding. Because you can jump onto the islands, raid, and then jump off the island as quick as you can. And you generally can survive doing that for quite a while. And they've generally not been raided as well by other people, so... Kind of a win-win. Let's look at us 27 gold, so nothing too crazy, but we can go over here to uh, uh, Corsica or Sardinia. I always forget which way they are, which way around they are. Fire and Blood, the settlement of uh, Madinat, an important stronghold in Greater Marus. I can't pronounce that place. Has fallen to my raiders. We we have the run of the vast tracts of land, and many of the quivering subjects and shining tre tre treasures. Shining Trevors would be amazing, actually. Uh, Count Yahuna to choose from. So we can basically steal all their stuff. Catch skilled slaves. So we increase our development by 40. And we can basically ruin it there. Or we can get more... Um, that's 30 loot. And we gain prestige. I'm just going to steal the loot. So yeah, we'll come here. Because I doubt they've got a large army either. Nope. Well, it's not too bad. But I think we'll win against them. And then we'll go, we'll go here. Yeah, they haven't got much. Actually, how full is our loot? Okay, we can hold nearly 200. That's not too bad. We probably don't want to attack Italy. Although, do you know what? They don't actually have that many troops. Oh, hello. Oh, no, no, no. It's still there. For a second, I thought they just lost a, a war. <laughs> and uh, lost... Oh, it's because he died. Oh, the king died whilst we were looking at him. So instead, we've got this... Um... Wait, she nun? Wait, what? <laughs> How how's a nun the queen of Italy? That is crazy, especially as it happened whilst we were looking at the screen. See, so yeah, her father died. The younger he died at thirty-two. Was he was he murdered? He was decapitated by the Bishop of Basson. <laughs> no, by Bishop Basson of Dukem. Okay, I mean that's one way to die. That's pretty funny. And then his a nun is the queen of Italy. Like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Well, anyway, I mean... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> uh, we don't attack the Pope. I mean, we do want to, but it's not worth the risk of attacking them. Um, again, we'll come down here. Yeah, that's pretty close. Napoli? Yeah, I think Napoli, you're next. You don't have many troops, and you've got 25 gold. And then, to be honest, we'll probably head back soon, because we just wanted a little bit of money. And, uh, and all that stuff, so... It'll give us a bit more of a cushion for doing stuff. Uh, push an exotic carpet. Okay. Oh, he's given us a gift. That means he's probably trying to kill us. Let's be honest. Hmm. I think I better get rid of this. Yes. I do not trust that. Raid or trade? As my troops and I prepare to sack the lands of Napoli, our first scouts report back. It seems the local towns are rich, but many are heavily fortified. We could... Oh, is it like, heavy, is it like a fort level... That's only for level 3. That's okay. All is not lost. The art of a good raiding is is all in exploiting opportunity. We could perhaps uh, set up some trade instead. 
Uh, we get a truce. We could probably... we. Yes, we probably could make money trading. Pillage it anyway. <laughs> let's just let's just steal it. Oh, this is cool. You can actually say no. No feudal coward makes money without raiding. So we literally say, never give me this option again. I'm never going to choose it. We're going to choose that, you know. We're no coward. We're just going to raid places. Thank you very much. Now, through downcast lashes, oh, our... Uh, our countess. No, is that? Yeah, that... Is she trying to, uh... Yeah, she's trying to sleep with us. She's the wife of one of our vassals. Oh, wait. Are we... Oh, we're lustful. Okay, so we're going to have to say yes to this. If you're watching this or your first ever video you've watched of mine, I always play semi uh, role-playing, so we are a lustful character, so we're going to do the lustful option. Uh, that's just how it goes. But, um... Could I stay a little... No, we don't want to become our lover. You know, we're lustful. We're just like, uh, yeah, thanks for the fun, good time. Uh, see you later. There we go, we siege this down. Yeah, John, we'll head back home. Because we kind of want to recruit, uh, recover our armies as well. So, we'll head back home. And then, to be honest, we've been going for 35 minutes. I kind of thought we'd be dead by now, if I'm honest. So, uh, we're going to wrap up the episode here. And then next episode, we're going to carry on. And, uh, you know, it could be a very short episode if we die immediately. But, um, yeah, we're going to carry this on. We're going to try head up along the coastline here, I think. I think we'll head north in this one. Keep going up here. We'll try to take Flanders next. And then into Holland. Um, we are fighting these two large kingdoms, which is not ideal. But, um, you know, some alliances will help us. If you headed south, I think you would have more luck heading south. Because you can fight France a few times, keep them weak. And take Navarre, Asturias, uh, into Portugal, basically down here. So, uh, yeah, I think some of you will probably try that. Like I say, leave a comment down below if you try it. Let me know how well it went. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get back home, and then we're going to uh, end the episode for today. There we go. We brought in 117 gold and 117 prestige. We have a lot of prestige. Um, I don't think there's any other decisions we can take. We can invite some more champions. Uh, we need two more, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep uh, keep that for now. But, yeah, we're going to leave it there for today. So hit the like button if you've enjoyed it. If you're new here... This is your first, first video. This is the uh, the Heisting Coastal Challenge. There is a previous video kind of discussing uh, what it's all about. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're doing pretty well. We've got a lot of coastline already. We'll see how much further we can get. Um, yeah, if you're new here though, subscribe. I play Crusader Kings, other grand strategy games, all that good stuff. So you know what to do. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. And I'll see you in the next one.